Hi, and welcome to Brims to Puzzles, a channel dedicated to showcasing the wonderful world of variant Sudoku. Today, I'm going to be bringing you something quite different. Today, I'm going to be showing you a puzzle, a Quattro Quadri variant. So this is a puzzle called XV08 by Maya. And this puzzle is a Quattro Quadri Sudoku variant. And then it's a variant on that variant. Um, and then it's got a couple of fairly standard constraints. So what is Quattro Quadri? So a Quattro Quadri puzzle, um, if we were treating this as a normal Quattro Quadri puzzle, um, but I'm not going to explain, it would basically mean that the digits in a normal Quattro Quadri, the digits one to nine would have to be placed without repetition into each of these three by three boxes. And there's, you'll notice there's only four boxes. So um, you would, we would only be placing four of each digit into this grid, but you cannot also, you cannot repeat digits into the rows or the columns, but there's only six cells in each row and column. So you're not placing all of the digits in each row and column. You're just working towards the, um, you, you just have to make sure you don't repeat. So there will be gaps and you don't know where the gaps are going to be, making it much more tricky to say, well, I haven't placed this digit in. Now, this is a variant on Quattro Quadri in that we'll be using the digits zero to eight rather than one to nine. So this is a zero to eight Quattro Quadri. On top of that, we're using the XV constraint, not XV pairs, XV, and we'll be using the consecutive pairs or white dot constraint. So what are those constraints? XV means that cells separated by an X must sum to 10, cells separated by a V must sum to five, all X's and V's are given. So it's not valid for any other pairs of cells that are connected orthogonally. So if you can make a domino like this shape on the grid, they may not sum to either five or 10, not legal. Then you've got white dots, which are cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive or have a difference of one. And those are, uh, are basically white pairs or consecutive pairs, white dot pairs. Um, those can exist elsewhere. These could be consecutive. These could be consecutive. That's all fine. They're the rules of the puzzle. Linked below will be a link to the SudokuPad link of this puzzle. Thank you, Sven, for SudokuPad and everything you do, um, as well as there'll be details of the rules and a whole bunch of other stuff below if you want to submit puzzles or recommend puzzles. Um, also, of course, like, subscribe, comment, all of the good stuff. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, if this was a normal XV pairs puzzle or XV puzzle, I would be highlighting the Vs and going, well, there's only two options for those because normally in one to nine, you're quite restricted, but in zero to five, uh, zero to eight, there's three ways of making a V clue. You could use zero, five, one, four, or two, three. So these are zero, five, one, four, or two, three. Now on the X, that does restrict it a little because I can't do five, five. So this isn't a five, four, six is possible. Three, seven is possible. Two, eight is possible, but zero, one would need a nine and there's no nines in this grid and zero would need a 10. So this is actually restricted to two, three, four. So this is actually restricted to one, two, three. So is that the same down here? Of course it is, because it's exactly the same pattern. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, but I can't do five, that would break the X. Four could go with six, three could go with seven, two could go with eight, one would need a nine and zero would need a 10. So zero, one come out. So this is again, one, two, three. And it's gonna be the same here. This is gonna be two, three, four, this is going to be one, two, three, and this is going to be six, seven, eight. Does that allow me to do any coloring? Well, it does actually. This is going to be different to those two. And there's only two ways of making V in these. Zero and five have been eliminated because I can't put zero or five on an X. So this and this are the same V pattern. So if this is two, three, this is two, three. If this is one, four, this is one, four. So if these are both four, those are both six. Does that do anything? Not sure. So is it this V clue? Because again, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I'm in the wrong mode. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, running into a consecutive chain actually does do something. That cell there is going to be real. 
Actually, that cell there is going to be very interesting. That can't be a two. If this was a two, this would be a three. And what would that be? Because it'd have to be consecutive of two without being a three. So it'd be a one and I'd have one, two, three, and I couldn't put anything there. That can't be a two. So that can't be a three. But I think it's more restricted than that. This has to be consecutive with these. So this has to be from zero, one, two, three, four, five, or six. Now, it can't be zero. If this was zero, this is just broken because the these would both have to be consecutive with zero and that um, therefore they'd both be one and I can't put two ones in the box. This is not a zero. If this is six, oh, hang on. No, I think more restricted than that might be this. I think more restricted than this might be this because I can't use 0, 10, I can't use 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6, and I can't use 5. So there's only three ways of making an X clue in this grid. There's normally four. So one of these is a 2, 3, 4, which means this is a different 2, 3, 4 to blue. Actually, that doesn't do much, does it? I knew this was different to blue because this is the blue X. Uh, this can't be the blue X. And I can't really use it in the row because I'm only placing six of the nine digits. Okay, let's look at this again. If this is a six, this is five and zero. Well, hang on. This can't be two or three. If this was a two, one of those, if this was a two, one of those digits would have to be a three. Because two would need to be surrounded by the two digits on either side of it, which would be one and three. But a three next to a two would sum to a five. And I, there's no X's. So this can't be a two. And the same with three. Three would be surrounded by two and four. This can't be a three. This is only one, four, five, and six. So this can't, be, oh, actually all of those, no, this can't be a one. If this was a one, there's no digit consecutive with it. So there's no one here, so there's no four here. I'm restricting it down. Okay, extreme digit six makes this a five and this is zero. Why is that a problem? Well, the interesting thing is, where does this digit, let's mark it in dark green, go in this box? It has to go in one of those three cells. Because this is a difference of five. Whatever this is, is the partner of this. So if this is zero, this is five. And you can't put a zero next to a five without a V. So it could never go in either of those two cells. It can't go in its own row. And the reason I said it can't go here is because this is only going to be two different from that, not five different. So if this is five, it's going to go six, seven, or four, three. So this is only ever going to be two different from this. So it can't go here either. So not in its own row, not next to the digit that it's in a V partnership with, and and not here, because this is only two different from that, not five different. So it's in one of those cells. So it has to be a digit that can go on an X. And if it's a digit that can go on an X, it can't be zero because neither of these can be zero, 10, and it can't be five. Neither of these can be zero, five. So this is a one or a two. So a one goes with a four and a two goes with a three. So this is only three or four. So this can't be a one anymore and it can't be a six anymore. This is only four or five. One, four, five, five, four, one. 
It can't be one either. I can't. Let me, hang on, let me run that back again. I think I did that wrong. Zero can't go on an X. Oh, no, 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 one can't go on an X either. Zero can't go on an X because zero needs a 10. One can't go on an X, it needs a nine, and there's no nines in this grid. Five can't go on an X, it needs another five. This is a two. So this is a three, which makes that the one, that the four, that the six. This is the same as this. So this is one, four, six. There has to be a two in one of these. I'm not sure which, but the three here means this is the four because one isn't consecutive. Five and six aren't consecutive. That's the four. Three, four, this has to go up to five. There's no three on this, so there's no seven on this. There's no four, so there's no six. This is two, eight. So there's no two here. The green has done its job. The blue has done its, actually all of the coloring has done its job. Okay, now, that's really clever. That cell, that, that's really clever. So we're seven in this box. It's not in either of those. It's in one of those two. Seven, three, yeah, maybe. Where's eight in this box? Yeah, it can't go in either of those or there. Actually, eight is in one of those two. It can't go next to those. Actually, this is a three, eight pair. I can't put three next to two either. This is a three, eight pair. So these are zero, five, and seven. There's no five there. Okay, so zero would go next to one, seven would go next to six or eight. Oh, the four, six here takes four and one out of here, which takes six out of here. This is a two, three pair. Is it this X? The zero in this box is in one of those two, because I can't put zero next to five. The one in this box is in, well, it can't get, the one is in one of those two, because I can't put the one next to the four. Oh, actually, I just can't put the one in that column. So the one is in one of those two. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. The six can't go next to the four or there. So the six is in one of th these two. So this is one or six, six or seven. So this is only six or seven. This is only zero or seven. This is only zero or one. And this is only one or six. Six or seven. Well, this can't be a six because that would make this a four. So this is the seven, meaning this is the zero. This is the one. This is the six. Seven makes that the three. So seven in this box? No. Five is down here. What can this be? If it's two eight, it's two eight. If it's three seven, it's three seven. It can't be four six because I can't put four or six in either of those. So this is a seven eight pair. So that can't be an eight. I'm, oh, it'll be a negative constraint. I'm just missing. The zero, well, that puts five in one of these two because I have to put a five in this box. I have to put a zero in this box, but it could go anywhere. Two can't go there. It's in one of those. No, it can't go there. It's in one of those three. Oh, the three just makes this two. And therefore that's eight which means this is seven, 
three, and two. The three looks up, making that the eight and that the three. Three can't go next to seven. There's no seven in either of those. That's the seven. This is the zero, which is consecutive with one, making that the five. This is a two. These are four, five, and six. There's no four or six there. That's the five, taking five out of those, taking five out of there, making that the five. This is a triple. But no, zero, seven, and eight. Zero can't go next to five. Seven can't go next to three. That's the eight. The eight comes out of those. The eight looks up, making that the two and that the eight. The seven looks across, making that the zero and that the seven. One can't go next to four. That's the six. That's the four. And this is wrong. I've got two twos in this box, so I've done something terribly wrong there. So what did I do wrong? So let's assume when I put the two in there, I don't know why I put a two in there. So let's go from here where I put the second two in the box. I don't know what I did there. So I'd need to put a zero in this box. So yeah, that was really, really dumb. So zero seems to be able to go anywhere in this box. Five can't go there. So five is in one of those two. Four can't go there because four and one sums to five. So four is in one, ah, four is right here. Can't put four there, can't put four there, can't put four there. That's a four. So these are zero, five, six. That can't be a six. So this is zero or five. So that can't be a five. If this was a five, if it was next to a zero, I'd need a V. If it was, um, if it was next to a five, that would have two fives in the row. That's not the five, that's the five. Taking five out of those, that's the five. This is a zero six and the six is looking down, making that the zero and that the six. I now don't have two twos in this box. Yay. So these are zero, seven and eight. Well, that's not an, that's not an eight. That can't be a seven or a zero because of the three and the five. The zero would make a five, the seven would make a 10. So that's the eight looking up, making that the two and that the eight. It's very easy to make a mistake on these. The eight takes the eight out of there. I'm also having selection problems, but that's not the reason I made a mistake. This is the zero because of the seven, and that makes this the seven, and that's the correct solution to the puzzle. 14 solves in 62 days. That is a number we definitely need to increase. That puzzle is brilliant. That cell, that cell right there, and asking the question, where does it go in box two? Brilliant. It needs to go on an X clue. Can't be in its own row, too close to there, and because of the V relationship, it can't be next to its V partner. That being on an X clue and therefore it having to be an X, um, an, a digit that can go on an X, and therefore not being able to be 0, 1, or 5. Mwah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. That's beautiful. Loved it. Thank you, Maya, for the puzzle. Hope you enjoyed this one. There is a playlist of Quattro Quadri puzzles. By the time this is released, it probably won't be in it yet, and I add it to the playlist. Uh, these puzzles normally come out after I've gone to bed, to be honest. So normally the next day, I try and add them to the playlist. So this will probably be added to the playlist the day after it's released or maybe something like that. Um, so, But there is a playlist of Quattro Quadri puzzles in my playlist section on the channel. So if you're interested in seeing more Quattro Quadri puzzles, you can go there and check it out. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And as always, good luck with your solving.